Okay. Okay, great. And then I'm just going to hit live. <laughs> it's so funny that they um, give us a name for the theme. And uh, like, that's a pretty tall name, the destiny of love. <laughs> you have no idea what they're going to have us do. <laughs> that's the funny part. That is so funny. Um, so Bonnie, how, when was the last time that we went live? Oh, it's been a, it's two or three months, maybe. Has it been a couple months? I don't know. It's been a little bit. Yeah, they're always very, uh, they seem to be pretty timely and really uplifting and um so let's go how's a little history with me and bonnie i guess right i mean um yeah we uh we connected way back in the new earth ascending consciousness um days and you had um hearts of change with kathleen and jen and you invited me on there a number of times and that was always amazing and then and then we just always kept up our friendship even though like I mean, I definitely miss everybody. I miss those moments, you know, like th those are special times in my heart. They're still around. We just have to get them all together, do another one sometime. Um, you know, everybody's doing their, doing their healing and, you know, going within and, and, you know, managing their family and everything around them. And, and they're really um, tapping into um, deeper healing methods you know every time we change a timeline or every time we move into a um, higher state of being we have to you know work on that connection and and to you know understand what our gifts are are you know because our gifts are changing so often that we really don't it's like we're learning on a daily basis you know it's like uh, one day you connected in one way and the next day there, it's in a different frequency and so we've just been kind of just taking our time and you know kind of delving into who we truly are and stuff like that um and that's what i've been yeah. doing too. that's definitely what i've been doing too you know yep yeah it's been um and then working on the getting our, our projects out there and but it also That's been, you know, projects like, have been a crazy thing because you might manifest one thing one day and then spirit changes it the next day and you're like really sad about it but then you realize that you learned a lot and whatever it was you were doing and that wasn't meant to go any further than what you took it you know and it might or may have changed into something else or morphed into something bigger and you just that's what it's all about right now. It's just kind of well, going. Look at Divine Ray. Uh, it totally failed when it came out. It was a little premature. And uh, and now, like, Facebook is becoming so obnoxious with their ads. It's like, you, it's weighing down everybody. And, and people are just wanting to get off Facebook. And, and now, all of a sudden, Divine Ray is being reborn with, like, features that are like Facebook. Um I'm working with the developer every day. Like he's working hard at it and, and he's, sending, he's sending me some final um, things now with a live stream and just uh, like, it's going to be totally different than it was. Cause we're going to be able to talk to each other a little bit, have groups. And here's the cool thing is like, you know how you make a post and then you got to share it into like all these groups one by one or whatever. You, so you'll just be able to open up to the groups that you're, you're in and just go select them and hit send goes to all the groups one wow one. So that's that's, cool. that's really cool because that's a, that's the most annoying thing on, on facebook is when yeah. you're trying to share it out and you got to go one at a time <laughs> it's like ah oh, and there won't why be like, a matter how you share like, it. i don't know if you've seen this but like i watch reels sometimes and then all of a sudden at the end of a reel there's some kind of like disgusting advertisement and i'm like oh this is just gross what is this doing in here like um right. And it's so like, like, I don't even know how they get away with this. Like, it's just like totally R-rated stuff that's coming in. Wow. And uh, I'll just like, so now I don't watch the top reels because like, it's where they have the top reels. If you click on it, all of a sudden these weird advertisements come in afterwards. I'm like, it's just, just as uh, way inappropriate. And uh, I don't know how they get away with that. It used to be on TikTok too. It would you would get inappropriate 
really yeah. you still can if you get on the wrong side of it but you know yeah. just uh, uh it's just the energy that's out there right now yeah and yeah exactly definitely i can't wait until divine ray is everything that you're you're dreaming that it's going to be because it's just going to be amazing it, to have well, a safe remember place. when we had the uh, like that channeling when we had that like meeting way long ago and they said uh, there's going to be like the light news like so yeah. we're gonna have like a news in it eventually that like where we're reporting positive things instead of like this depression news that's out there right now exactly i can't wait for that to actually be going like i'm i, I would seriously watch that all the time <laughs> i would too i cannot wait to just you know even if, it, even if it's like even if it's like funny stories or you know, even like even when you had your characters that you were doing before, that would be so, so much fun. Um, I just I just think that, you know, laughter and bringing in joy and, and bringing in things that are happening around the world that's um, amazing and heartfelt and stuff is just um, that's where it's at. Nobody wants to hear all that other stuff anymore. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's what I figure. Yeah, exactly. I think we're kind of like, and I think that is the destiny of love, really. Like we're 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 bound to like shift into like a new reality, and because the collective consciousness awakening is a real thing, and and yeah. uh, you know, it's you're starting to see a lot more truth people commenting on on different things, like recently with the Rock and Oprah, they were they were talking about raising money for Maui. And then you start seeing, oh, they went, the truthers went in on them. Oh, how's the, how's the, your, your blue roof houses, you know, like, where's the children, all these different things that were just coming on from all these comments. Then they ended up taking their, their posts down because it's at the time of the BS and the hiding and the, and the things that then the infiltrations on, on people is over. Like people are just, we're not we're not dumb anymore and, and it's like we're not just going to be so naive and believe everything when we know there's this manipulation out there and i think it's, it's not like about fighting all the time or whatever but it's about consciously it's like with rick jewers and gpms uh, and getting people consciously to agree to a new system and when there's enough of a consciousness that's, that agrees to a new system then the reality completely changes and and we're sort of seeing like this beginning of that in a way like that our consciousness is is starting to gravitate to more to like love based um and things that one of the recent things that i was channeling from gaia she's basically saying that this birthing is coming now um of this new reality and she says anybody who ignores their heart is going to be blindly walking in circles but the ones who embrace their heart are going to enter the magical kingdoms of love and this this magical life that makes, that makes a lot of sense because um that's what my guides have been saying to me is that the wisdom will come in as you release the false um uh narrative and the things that you think are true that really are things that you've learned you know self-taught and um it's from this world but when you can let all that go and let go of judgment and let go of fear and sadness and really live within your heart that's when you're going to start seeing that it's not the illusion that you think it is it's it, the whole world is different than what we're we are imagining it to be because it's really imagination. It's our thoughts, our feelings, all of that creates what's around us. And when we can live within the heart and create that God love, that's that, that amazing energy that comes from our heart, when we can do that and walk and walk the path that we're meant to walk, that's when we truly see heaven on earth. And that's when we're really going to see what we were here for. And, and the more that the more of us that can do that will, will help others to raise their vibration to be able to do the same and that's what i that's pretty much what i'm getting from my guides and that's what we've been all working so hard to do but one thing that i also learned is that when when you're when you're feeling tired or when you're feeling sad or you're having a wave of of uh it's almost like a wave of recollection of the past something in the present might uh trigger something from the past 
when you get that feeling, relook at it you, um, and release it. Just look at it and release it because it's not, it, something might be happening right now that's similar to the past, but it's not, it's just a trigger to show you that it's something that's within you that needs to be released. So um, don't let it bring you down. And, and it's all about your reaction. So like if you get something that triggers something that was really traumatic to you in the past, think about it. Think about why, why you reacted in the way that you did. Think about how you could have reacted differently to make it a little easier on you. How much have you learned from then and now? And how can you create that um, positive energy around what's happening now? And, that, and, and then release it. Because once you've released it, you don't have to ever re revisit it. But I think that's what's happening to everyone right now. Mm -hmm. The thing yeah, that's test, test after test, right? And like, um, and that, yeah, definitely the tests are meant for us to rise above, like our old patterns or like the different self sabotaging or negative viewpoints that we had on ourselves or towards other people. Like you're, you're saying, not judging people and just dissolving that. Um, and even like, uh, you know, even with us, you know, like we're, um, you know, there's a lot of people, a lot of things that have changed and, you know, people that were really close to us back in the day that are, are, are kind of doing their own thing now. And, um, you know, you just send them love and wish them the best and everything like that. Uh, but you don't hold any resentment or anything like that would be like a negative cord because then there's unhealed trauma still between right there's unhealed that you're pulling in negativity in some form like if you're if you're holding kind of resentment energies and everything so but you know you got to process things you got to process them talk about them understand them and, and then just send it love like what you're saying with what you have been getting from yeshua is send them love and it will cure everything right and then i've been Absolutely. kind of just sending love into things as well and like sending love out is basically an answer for a lot of different things. <laughs> yeah. right. hey, can you put this? Can you put this on a uh, gallery? Because I, I uh, keep. Oh, I, is this not on gallery? Oh, no, sorry. I, okay. I don't, I, I don't yeah. like being the only one present when I talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's <laughs> yeah, so here with me, David. But anyway, yeah. um, that's better. That's better. But I definitely get what you're saying because you you can you can if you linger on whatever it is that happened, you're gonna you're gonna make it a whole lot worse than it has to be. If you just look at the positive things that you learned in the past when it happened to you before, and then look at how it's happening now, it's all in the way you react. So if you react in love, if you drop it down in your heart and you see it through love and you send that love energy towards it, it's, it's all could be healed. There's nothing, any, Yahshua always says, there's nothing more powerful than that energy of love because that's God's heart right there when you're sending that love and it dissolves everything. We just don't- Yeah, let's talk, let's talk about heart. that. So like, um, so in the past, uh, like five, six months, or five months, um, so I found out recently, I've been kind of, I've had mono, right? And so I've been dealing with that and it comes and goes and I'm able to dissolve the fatigue fields with the love frequency and then dissolve the vibrations out of the feet and leave the, and it leaves me. And so um, where a lot of people suffer with the fatigue the entire day for me within 20 minutes, I'm able to completely dissolve it with love, sending love into it. Uh, what's another thing that you send love? into that that helps well what what i'm think what i think everything is a vibration and love is the highest vibration so what you're doing is you're raising the vibration it can't it can't exist where you're at when you're doing that yeah and so, and so mm -hmm. in one one exercise i can tell people who have a hard time of uh, finding that space in their heart that's love um to be able to actually radiate it out is to make you first make the connection. Of course, you make the connection to the mother father and then to the mother earth. And then you just take a deep breath and send it out through your heart. But when you're sending it out through your heart, think about the thing that you love the most. Think about your, I mean, for me, it'd be my children and my husband and my family. I would just start thinking about how 
you know, like the first time I saw my baby in my arms and, and that love starts to radiate. It's, it's like a muscle. You have to, you have to learn to find it because we live in such a harsh reality and we have, we have so much sadness happening. It's almost like on a, it's a, easier to bring down the sadness and the depression because we're, we have done that all of our lives. Yeah. Typically so it's like a, uh, what most people do in these situations like now i'm seeing this is such a great analogy you're on to here so when there's sadness when somebody's down and they they find usually other people maybe who are down or a little bit down and to, and they, they come down to bring them down so they're down together right but maybe like the destiny of love is the person who's in sadness it's to bring them up instead of being in that state let's bring them up to the higher states yeah instead of going with them bring them up to where you're at so like if somebody you know like say a friend calls you and they're having a bad day and this and this and that's happening to them instead of going you know getting down there with them going well what a terrible person can't believe they did that or whatever instead say Try going outside and get some fresh air and try to walk around and think about what's good in your life. What's good there? What's good? That person can't be completely bad, you know. Yeah. What what have they done that have that you that has been really good to you? You know, like maybe, maybe it's they like what did Yeshua say to me? It was so profound. <laughs> this one was a good one. It was in one of the recent challenges, channelings, and it was it was something along the lines of like that. Um, the the these the people the fight that you had the fight that you had were they really wrong or is it that they still have a a wound from their childhood the, an inner trauma from their childhood it, what the, was there with in a single mother or father relationship something that was abusive something that is unhealed so are you right in the argument are you really right so then what is right when they still have the wound and then you still have the anger, the upset. So, you know, what he says to do, ironically enough, send them love and divine light and to, to, to clear into their wounds, to heal into their wounds and, and then come back, you know, come back to it after that, once you're done, um, instead of like, um, it could be that there's this trauma that they're having and that's why they're triggered. That, that's why they are like this, right? Absolutely. So, that's so that why you, Joshua so, says, yeah. look at where they're at, see where they're at. Um, look at where they're coming from. What path are they walking on? Um, have some um, compassion for what you probably went through maybe two or three years ago. Um, you know, understand them in that way. And there really wasn't, well, you're right. There really is no right or wrong. Um, it doesn't really matter. It just is what it is. And just allow them to do whatever it is they need to do in order to bring it, their healing through. Um, and you're not going to help them by trying to force your opinion on them. Um, they, they'll listen when they're ready to listen. You, it, you, can't, you can't make them um, hear the wisdom or to, or whatever it is you're trying to do if they're not ready to hear that they're just not ready you just can't force it so being being compassionate about where they're at instead of trying to judge them just like you said just think about well they're going through this and they have this trauma and they have that trauma it's something they're trying to heal it's always something within them yeah. When they see something in somebody else, and so do we, when we see something in somebody else, you always should ask the question, what is it within me that it triggered? And why is it that I felt that way? It's more, most likely it's likely it's something that we need to heal, you yeah. know? Yeah, the mirrors, the mirrors of healing. And we, I, I remember going through that a lot during the inner work and shadow work where, where people would comment or post certain things on my threads and it would it would it would trigger me and then uh, as soon as i started realizing that this is something within myself that i have to heal that's when i got my true freedom because then i was able to so yeah i think the combination of, of looking inside ourselves to heal if this is this our wound and to heal it and then 
sending them love and light to assist them to heal their wounds instead of uh, trying to be that you are the the victor of the conversation or you're the right in the argument. But you can't be right <clears throat> if you're still holding on to hate because then that is just not right in the in the in the new earth light right and the, but it's like if somebody does something to you super bad and everything like that and it catches you by surprise and especially if it's against the law uh, and it's physical or emotional or in some way shape or form it's going to be um, harder for you to come and just be super peaceful about it um, but if it's like if you're so angry and so upset and you want to do something really bad that then there's no victory in that because then you're giving into them you're, you're still kind of a prisoner to them they're still in your mind um, you're still tied to them in this energy and everything but um it's almost like you're putting your hand out to accept the poison that they're yeah. giving yeah, yeah. They're, they're, giving like, them permission is, to, to upset you it's not like a bad like such a bad thing that happened to me or whatever like that like I where but it, in my maybe I would have gotten a lot more upset, but I, I had a, this little bit of cryptocurrency, right? I should say a little bit. And it was like, like $5,000. Right. And, um, I was checking on it, you know, cause I seen how it was doing. And there was this thing that's called a phishing site. And what it is, is that they make themselves to look like their actual site and then you go to it thinking that this is the site. Um, so you put your information in, then they got your passwords. Within half a second, they had this bot technology that cleaned me right out before I knew what was happening. And oh. ordinarily, ordinarily, that would have made me like extremely mad, upset, angry, like, why did this happen to me? And here I am, the victim and stuff. But I, I wasn't like that at all. Um like I was shocked I was a little shocked at first but almost immediately um, I sent my gratitude because obviously there's some karma I'm paying off somewhere and along along the lines I'm not going to make the same mistake I'm going to learn from it and uh, I wish them peace and forgiveness but I, I don't want to have any attachments karmically to whoever these people are and uh, and I wish them the best and I wasn't really I, I mean upset it, I felt a loss, but I wasn't upset about it. I felt, okay, there's a loss, but it was, you know, so if it was something that was worse, like if somebody did something to like one of my children or something like that, that'd be a lot harder for me. It would be a lot harder for me, but I, I would have to, I would have to send forgiveness and, and to make peace. Otherwise I would go crazy probably. Right. Yeah. And, 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 and so what good would that have done if you would just kept spinning around in circles you know, it just would have drawn more drama and more. Yeah, you, you'd be vibrationally creating more negativity into you, right? And then they are, you're always, you know, when somebody does something like that to you, you're always reimbursed in many other ways. So I would just be looking forward to the blessing that's coming to you for, you know, what was done, you know, because um, that's exactly how, what happens um, because the universe works that way. You know, when someone takes you, you, you get given, you know, or when same thing, when you give, you receive, it happens all the time. Um, yeah. One door closed. Yeah. Door that closed. definitely would have been a hard lesson to learn. You know, but it, you, you see, like, it's not like an illusion, the inner work, like we are actually changing our vibrations and our emotional mental states of consciousness. This, this is what ascending consciousness is ascending into like a love based is there's no other way about it we we don't want to be in lower vibrations and and you know enough people have triggered us that we've gone inward to heal these things so when something like like that happens it doesn't pull us down into like this despair victimhood consciousness the end of the world um poor me uh, instead we're like we're thankful I, I was actually thank you thank you for sending this into my life because i know somewhere along the lines that i have i'm clearing a karmic debt with some kind and um yeah and I, just, I wish them all the peace you know and i'm a little surprised but that's fine you know I, i'm gonna move on everything's okay there's there's no loss here and um 
Exactly. Yeah, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't have dealt this in this way without doing this kind of inner work. Um, oh sure. God, could you imagine if that happened to you maybe three or four years ago? Oh yeah, I would. I would still be mad. Feels bad. <laughs> I'd still be mad. <laughs> <laughs> You'd still be mad, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, a lot of things happen to us and we go through it really quick because we've learned um, all these different tools and things for us to um, move through things so quickly. And also, you know that you're never alone, that, you know, your guides and angels are so close to you. Like the other night I was sleeping and um, and I, I felt a presence and, you know, I immediately say, if you're not the light, then you can't be here. And he just said, Yashua. And I saw my third eye, he was standing over me and he was doing something. I don't know what he was doing, but I was like, oh, okay, you're okay. <laughs> I'm back to sleep. But that's right. a normal thing now. That's so weird. Like five years ago, we were like, oh my God, I have to tell everybody what I just saw. But instead, I just, you know, that's a normal thing to me, you know. There's one I thing I've noticed just... lately and um, like there's definitely some huge things happening right now on the evolvement of consciousness and the energies on Gaia but uh, I've I'm not the only one who's seen this either but it was it was somewhere around a couple of weeks ago I started noticing that it was like the heavens and the ascended the number of ascended masters coming in right now it's just unbelievable and every time I tune into the sun uh because I like to sun gaze and and then the solar consciousness um and those that are of light, like light beings, they connect through the sun as well. And I see so many ascended masters still, like there's just so many beings of light here and they're getting ready for something. And, and not only to work with people, but like it's incredible to see the, the, the number has completely gone through the roof of light support at this time you know my guides were saying to me last night that um makes you know i don't know what's it what what uh we're getting but for some reason make sure that you're outside at least a couple hours a day and i don't know what's if it's codes coming from the sun or if it's just coming from nature or all of it but um i got a message the other day um from yashua and he was saying um purify the air you breathe, purify the water you drink, the food you eat, and the thoughts you think, your body and your field. Um, purify the room you're in and purify the house you live in. Send purification to the world for it, uh, it is all powerful being in your, you deserve nothing less than the purification of the love of God. And so I just feel like we're just going through this huge purification yeah. because of like what you said, that we're making room for whatever it is they're getting ready to do. It's like the purification has been the one of the biggest things that have been coming like in the last number of weeks for sure. Um, and I remember, I remember there was uh, a long time ago, like when um, I I started tuning in a little bit about this purity and everything, and and um, a lot of people were saying, "Well, you should have no shame. You should have no guilt." Um, which is um, which is very positive. Of course, you don't want to attach to shame and guilt. Um, but at the same time, when you're playing in lower vibrations, um, the, you, you can detach from shame and guilt, but you're still playing in lower vibrations, which is going to bring your vibration down. Um, if you attach to the shame and guilt of it, then of course your vibration is going to go lower. So um so how how do you do these things uh without feeling attached to shame and guilt um so then the question is well why are you doing these things i mean it's like do you need to is this uh, this is just bad habits is this just self-destructive behaviors um are you are you going out and just getting drunk all the time i mean it's self-destructive behaviors you know um demeaning are you demeaning people in relationships and friendships it's like these are lower vibrations and they're self-destructing and so one of the things that yeshua said to me that made the most sense and it came in a recent challenge is ask yourself how can you be more light and you come up with the answers yeah that makes sense that makes a lot of sense you know and and that's 
pretty much, you know, the channeling that you did recently with Yahshua when he was talking about, you know, before his purifications, before his final, um, in the days before he did his preaching and all that. And, um, and he talked about um, letting things fall away, letting things, things that aren't aligned with who you truly are. It's not heart-based and don't, and don't have any fear about letting it fall away because if they're meant, it's almost like that old saying, if they're meant to be in your life, they'll heal and they'll be there, but you don't have to carry them. You don't have to have the sack of rocks on your back. You can just send love and healing to the people that are in their healing process, but you, you can bring in more light for yourself and begin your healing process you're not, you don't leave yourself out to be the last one healed, you know, uh, allow yourself to heal within so that you can even send more light to the people you love. And, and, and it makes, it makes a whole lot of sense, you know, don't allow, align yourself with energies that's just not going to help you hold more light. And so that's the question. If I do this, do I hold more light? If I think this way, am I holding more light? Um, and the and the answer, you know, you know it right away because your emotions will tell you exactly how you feel. If you don't feel love and uplifted, of course, it's not going to help you hold more light, you know. And it just seems like that's what we're going through a lot lately. Um, being able to let go of things quickly and not hanging on to it, you know, allow the healing to occur. You know, see what it is. Look at the wisdom around it. Let it go and allow the healing to occur. We're doing that a lot faster than we ever did before. Have you ever gotten anything lately at, to like the this shift, this event thing that you've talked about over the years? If it has any of that, that come into your awareness at all? Well, because, you know, most of what I do, I work in consciousness um, because I do work in the Akashic Records and all that. It's all consciousness, unity, consciousness work, quantum healing and all that. So what what they're telling me that, it's an it's definitely an energy wave. It's definitely an energy upgrade and um, a move moving into a higher consciousness. Um, mm -hmm. I feel like there is going to be something that happens that you know once we get get enough people to move the energy. But I think yeah. it's mostly coming from us and within. I mean, yes, God's going to help us. Divine's going to help us. The masters yeah. are going to help us. But yeah. I feel like that wave is it's the awakening of the humans and um, being yeah. able to have the, you know, opening up that wisdom. How do you see it? Um, I see it like, 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 like that as well. Like it's a big vibration wave that hits the entire planet and that everything shifts into a totally open and aware unity um, um, where we feel super connected where we are. Uh, it's just a whole other level of reality of awareness um of where our gifts uh, and everything that we've been working on come to a, a whole other level of um of amazing things that we can do and um but that there's 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 definitely going to be people who are ahead consciously and those who are going to be playing catch up um and because of it's not like you could be sitting on a couch and watching TV for, you know, 40 years when somebody has been working on, on their vibration for 10 years and expect that you're going to be able to be advanced in the new reality. You know, like a lot of things are going to be new. What will be remembered? I don't know. Um, when I, when I tune into it, I don't tune into like everybody's memories are restored. I just, I don't have that. I think that's something that's going to come in time, probably, likely, like, because it would be too much, I think, for you to remember everything at once anyways. I mean, this is why they always give us bits and pieces. I think that it's not exactly everything all at once. It's the ability to tap into what you need to know. Yeah. Um, where now, it, where now it's hard to, you know, you, you go in the records and you, you ask, you ask the guides to take you where you need to go for whoever it is you're working with. Um, but I think that it'll be a lot easier because you can just say, um, 
I'm working on this and this is what I need. I need the information for this. What can I do to help this person? And yeah. this, and then, it, right. and then you can make that connection with the person without having to go into trance and go, you know, you know how I work. Mm -hmm. I think it'll be so much easier. The wisdom will be yeah. easier to tap into. It would be almost like yeah. that. And you've yeah, got exactly. Because I can't remember what it was, but I, I was channeling something, and they said even the mass, like they said, the masters are aware of 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 all of their realities and everything, but they don't tune into it. They just tune into what they need to, and mm -hmm. so like that's that could be good good reflection too, right? Yeah, it's like Yashua tells me it's like the notes of a song. Um, if there's something within the song that you need to learn, then you press on that note, and that note that that song will play. And it's it's like that with the universe. Whenever you, whenever you're looking for something that um, you need to know about, it'll be there. I just I, I think yeah, if you got all the information all at once, and that would blow your mind. <laughs> but, yeah. but I think that you it, it's it'll be readily there for you. You'll be able to access it whenever yeah. you need. And also, don't think that you're going to be able to hide anything. Um, but, so I remember there was this time. And uh, I, just, I just want to be honest about it. Um, and it, it might have been about four years ago where I realized I have these secrets in my mind and like where I'm almost hiding my thoughts, even from the divine or like I'm protecting certain things because, oh, I don't want anybody to know or, or whatever it was that I, I'm holding on to. And then um, I just realized that what kind of relationship is that? I said, I got nothing to hide. And then so I just, I opened up, I just imagine opening up all these doors to my mind, all these doors to my heart. And so I can have an open and honest relationship with the divine and with myself. And it, it doesn't seem like that's a big deal, but it was a big deal for me when I did that, <laughs> because yeah. that was just like, I just, I brought the light in and I made, it was a bigger connection to the light. And I'm just sharing every thought of my mind, every thought of my heart, uh, and just completely free. And and I think that's what will kind of it'll kind of feel like when this collective moment happens. That this a lot of people are going to be like, oh, I, I I don't want to reveal this about myself towards other people. I don't. Oh, but it's coming up, and they can hear my thoughts. Oh, but I'm consciously like. Uh, this is not positive about me and like oh but I need to heal this and then so it's going to be there's going to be like a lot of things surfacing because there won't be like this hiding place because we well, like we, I, we'll be able I to think hear. it's like an illusion that we're actually hiding it in the first yes time. yes because your guys and angels are like oh she's never going to let go of that we love her no matter what we love her no matter yeah what. and and then also with people you know, you, if you're saying one thing, but your emotion in your mind, you're thinking something else. We have the energy has risen so high that most people can tell that you're not matching up with what you're talking about. If you're thinking something else, hiding something that you're feeling about it and then saying something different. So yeah. I feel like that's what it's going to be like too, because you won't be able to hide anymore. I mean, you won't even confuse anybody because that yeah. confuses me because I'm in, I'm an empath. And so when they're when they're saying something, but yet I hear I I sense they're not really meaning what they're saying. You yeah. know, they're saying something positive, but then they have something they're afraid of up here. Yeah. And um, and so I'm really confused by that. But I think in the future we won't be confused. We will know <laughs> she she has a wound or he has a wound and he's afraid yeah. to speak about it. And I think but that's probably, why like it's so good for people just to talk honestly, you know, like um authentically about you know their past and I, I see a lot of people talking about their addictions and mm -hmm. uh, or abuses and things that have happened to them it's, and it just lifts a weight off of their shoulders yeah yeah and it really that's not what other people think it's mostly what you think about yourself that causes you to be hang on to and hide things you know be aware when you're not worried about what you know that you've healed that and you're not worried about what other people think about it then um then it's it's just out there they can't use it against you, you you're the one that told them you know what i mean <laughs> you're the one that decides yeah, that you're you going to it yeah. sets you free and then you come more into your hearts more into your light 
And uh, it's definitely, that's definitely the destiny of love too, is just being honest with yourself and like, um, and your life, you know, like, that's why I like also like just putting different things just with about my family or things with my posting with my kids. Cause like, yeah, I, I do a lot of divine work, but I'm still having a physical reality and I have kids and I love them. And yeah. I want to share that part about my life, you know? And so like, just being honest, we're not just like in the heavens a hundred percent of the time, all the ways channeling the Senate masters and living like, like this, like such a light, like a life of just pure light in a hundred percent of our moment, you know, I'm going to the playground, you know, like I'm, or taking my kids to. But where, you know, where we're, we're, that's what we're learning how to do is to straddle, to be in both worlds, you know, to bring it together to where, you know, the family and being human is going to eventually be, you know, the same as doing spirit work. It's all going to be love. It's all going to be divine. And there will yeah. be no separation. And that's what's so exciting about the future is because you can actually be the divine being that you were meant to be in all places and never have to hide who you are. I remember when I worked in the factory, that was just. Uh, and when we, where we hide, we got to heal. Like when I, like I went through a really dark time when I was 13 years old to about 15 and a half, it was like, the, it, I was, I, I would consider, because I'm not really, you're not bad, but I was, I was bad, like in the sense, running away from home, doing drugs with friends and doing all these different things. And, um, but I was insecure. I was hiding, I was insecure about my looks. I had a lot of acne issues. Um, I was insecure about my family because they were, I didn't really have a, a big support growing up until I, until uh, it was a point when my mom took a role when I was around, you know, 13, when I was having these breakouts. By that time, I'm rebelling against everything. And um, because I, I didn't get, when it comes down to, I didn't get the love that I needed as a child, right? Um, and grown up from my from my brother and my sister and so all of these things were was places I was hiding and I was hiding from my face I was hiding from my light I was hiding from from love because I didn't even really know what love was properly and all these different things and, and I was trying to find connection in that I wasn't getting at home in friends and, and but and then we were using like pot and and doing mushrooms and different things like that to escape like the depressions of of the childhood and the and uh and so i've had to go back to every single person that i knew during that time and clear karma between us clear heal both hearts heal my heart go back and every time I'm looking at myself in the mirror saying I can't stand the way that I look and heal that part of my heart uh, running away from family running away from this healing all that going back through every moment of my childhood to heal all of those moments that come into the alignment of love you know like and so there, you cannot run away from your consciousness uh, it, it has to be healed and uh, every single moment, every single thing that I've done, that word that I've said bad to somebody, like to the most part, I, I've gone through to forgive, to release, to clear. And the same thing that has been against me. And it, it, it seems like a lot of work, but I'm, but it is completely worth every moment and yeah. effort. <laughs> you know what we're essentially doing? We're actually doing our, our um, end of life um healing you know when when we usually you would cross over and you would do all this stuff we're doing it while we're still here and so because we got other things to do when we cross over we're skipping the line and we're going somewhere else <laughs> yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah because we're doing that end of life process thing and um it's it's really interesting all the things that you and you think of all the things that you did when you were younger because i had the same insecurities running around getting in trouble do you know doing things I shouldn't be doing peer pressure all that stuff when I was a kid and I mean I'm sure everybody has I mean there's probably a few that never did anything but <laughs> when you're a teenager you're always getting into trouble yeah. and um 
Um, but yeah, going back and, and giving forgiveness and um, forgiving yourself. I, I, I thought about something. One time a client said to me when I asked him, were they drinking water? I said, do you drink water? And they, and he said to me, it's kind of, it seems like off the subject, but it's not because he said to me, I don't even like water. I don't, I don't like it. I'm, I'm not going to drink it. I'll drink anything but that, but I don't like water. And I said, think about what you're saying, because you figure the human body is 70% water. Yeah. And, then, and then it's even more than that. Cause once you break down all of the, um, all of your, your um, inner workings, it's all made of water. So, so you end up with like 95% water. If you don't like water, then you don't like yourself. And what is it about yourself that you feel is so offensive? You know, yeah. it's, it's just so deep. I was just like, wow. And then, and then, and I remember the client was just, he didn't have any words. He just thought about it. <laughs> That's very profound. It yeah. is. It is. Yeah. That was Joshua because he's always jumping in and out of sessions <laughs> with, you know, and he said, what, why doesn't he like water? Because that's who you are. That's what you're made of, you know, and that's why we're so connected to the waters of the earth. And, you know, when it, when it rains, you feel such a cleansing because that it, it's your family. It's who you are. It's part of who you are. Same with the um, plants. There's water within the plants. You know, we're, we're all connected through water and wisdom. It holds, they've already shown that water holds memory and it holds um, wisdom because when if that experiment that, I can't remember who, who it was that experimented with the snowflakes, but gosh, gosh, I can't remember. But anyways, if you talk hateful to it and then it would show really ugly, um, deformed, uh, snowflakes, but if you talked loving to it and you just sent love to it every day, it would be these beautiful snowflakes, just beautiful, you know. And so it showed the the emotion and the vibration that you speak to water, which is what we are. So that connects to your thoughts and what you're thinking about yourself. That's who you become, and that's the craziest thing if you think about it in that way. Which, uh, which means that the more that you are, are positively in a vibration of love, the more that the waters within yourself are going to be in that. And just generally it will be uplifting th throughout your entire life. Uh, so it's like, that's how connected we are is to the water and the vibration of love. So it'd be interesting. Did you want to do anything as far as like um, connect to the light and see if there's anything? Yeah, I mean, I'm sure that it has to do with the water and the light and the purification of how love, how love um, and your thoughts and how it moves through your body. You know, because whenever I do a clearing, um, I immediately feel a wave, a wave. It feels like a, almost like I can't explain it. But that's how I feel it because I connect to that um, big time. But you know, I am I am cancer, so my my sign is cancer, so I really connect to water big time. So it might be because of that, but that really resonates with me that message to do with the water. But yeah, let's let's connect and see where uh, spirit, see what God and Yeshua wants to do today. All right. Did you want to start into it? You want me to I'll go? I'll let you go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All, right. All right. So let's connect with it. the light, golden light. Um, so anybody who wants to connect with this, you can just use the inhale of the nostril on the inhale and sucking golden light through the crown, through all the chakras and a breath in. And as you exhale, you send that golden light down with intention. You send it down with your breath. Sending it out the soles of your feet into the heart of Gaia. And you already created sacred space before we even came on. So all the light is, is only vibrations of love and trust are allowed in the sacred circle that we could create it before we even started this. And within Gaia's heart, she has this beautiful crystalline rainbow core. And on our next breath, we are going to breathe that in through the nose, breathe it through our chakras. And as we exhale, we're going to send it up 
to a higher self, lower soul group, vibrations of love and trust, raising our frequency, raising our vibration. And we'll invite in the higher selves of everybody, the over souls of vibrations of love and trust of everybody to assist, uh, to connect to um, the ascended masters, um, heaven, and uh, we'll tune into uh, the divine and see what it is they are meditating. We're just going to connect with them. They are tuning into us. We are tuning into them. They are angels. They are ascended masters. Um, okay. Okay, so in here, it's very much um, what um, Bonnie is saying. And in our muscles, in our cells, um, in our ligaments, in our fat, in our bones, they are different, holding different information for information of words that we've said against ourselves, words that we've said against others, fights, arguments um, of this lifetime that will create a sickness at some point of some form. Um, and it will create a disharmony within our cells. And so we are going to be taking some breaths and concentrate on breathing in heaven and breathing in the angels of love and breathing in this angels of love into ourselves, connected to them as one, where we become the angel of love inside of ourselves, where you can literally divide yourself into a trillion angels of love. And just breathing in the heaven and the angels of love into all of our cells, into our water molecules, into all of these words, into all of these angry emotions and fits and tantrums and hate and anger and on the fights and the arguments where they sit inside of our cells and just have this angel that you are one with now. Just bring in this love and this light into each of these cells to take this and to take the negativity up in these bubbles of light. And they'll bring it bubbles. They'll just all turn into all these little negative bubbles of light leaving out of your body now, leaving out of your cells, going up into the source light. You get transmuted by Mother, Father, God, and the angelic kingdoms. Just everything, just these little negativity bubbles leaving out of your cells leaving out of your bones and these angels, the angel of love that you are in, in a trillion different states will just go through and capture all these little negative energies out of your bones, out of your tendons, out of the fat, out of the muscles, out of the blood, out of the cells, out of the water within self. And these trillions of bubbles, these little negative bubbles, we're just going to be leaving us and we're going to get filled with the heavenly light and just breathe in the heavenly light in to all the cells to replace where the negativity is left with divine light just with more purity and just let those bubbles leave out let's let them all go out and completely bring breathe in that angel of love and all the heavenly kingdoms to capture all these little negativities inside of our cells and our bones and our blood Turn them into little, little bubbles and leaving them out till that until you feel and know and trust that all these bubbles are completed. They'll just keep coming out of you, out of the cells, out of the tissue, out of the memory, out of the vibrations that you've been holding on to, just letting it all out, becoming lighter, becoming more of a divine light and a vibration of love. And then I'll pass it over to Bonnie. Okay. So just take a deep breath. And these are keys and codes that are coming in through the DNA, 
throughout the blood, throughout the systems, through the nervous systems. These are keys and codes is recoding how we react to situations that are upsetting to us. After clearing this out, we are now doing codes to recode the waters within our body to the higher vibration, to the vibration of love. And this is Yashua with me today. Just take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. Breathe in the breath of God. Release the sadness and the upset. Focus on who you truly are within the heart. Within the heart of God is the love and the light as it emanates throughout every system, every cell. Take a deep breath. Put your hand on your high heart. Focus your where your hand and your breathing is. And we're going to ignite the body with God's love. So let it permeate every system, every cell, through the nervous system, throughout your um, organs, every single turning on the God codes within your cells. Deep breath. Take another deep breath. Just feel every system, every cell raise with this higher vibration. Feel your angel wings lift and raise out. All timelines that no longer serve you is now being dissolved into the light. Moving into the timeline that you belong. Forever knowing that there is healing here within God's love. Nothing can exist within the love of God. Take another deep breath. And now remove your hand and radiate love out to the masses. We're sending it out to the world now. Same keys and codes we just did. We're sending it through the waters, through the consciousness, through the air, through the trees, through everything we're connected to. We're now sending all these codes out. Take another deep breath. Breathing it down through your feet all the way to the mother's heart. This is a blessing of love and light. Knowing that you are the light and you are the love. And you are so loved by the divine. And so it is. So now take another deep breath, bringing your consciousness back into your body. I'm going to send it back over to David if he has anything to add. Yeah, it's just one more thing. And that was amazing, by the way. Um, Yashua says, thank you. God bless your soul. And so now we are going to form these trillions of angels of love in our cell back into the one angel of love, this beautiful diamond light angel, and this heart, this heart of this angel of love now as one, we're going to breathe into the heart of the angel of love. And this angel of love is going to grow within our energy fields, this white light, this diamond light, the angel of love's wings are going to grow within our wing chakras, and the chakras and the attunements 
that the angel of love and the blessings of the angel of love that the angel of love can give us. We're going to invite the blessings of the angels of love for them to bless our fields, to attune our frequencies even into higher vibrations of love, um, to attune our chakras into higher vibrations of love as they are to reflect the beautiful love of the angel of love within our fields of love. We invite in and we breathe in. Before this angel leaves us, we're going to thank this angel um, and Yeshua and all the teams of light, of course. But we're just going to feel the attunements of even um, what the angel of love's blessings are within all of our hearts, within all of our chakras, within the sacred hearts and all to bless all and to bless all on the planet as well. And that is, um, do you want to do some more light language, Bonnie? I'm just going to do some, Yashua saying, attune your heart to the song of love. And he's going to do a little bit of light language to help with integration. <laughs> Feel the love of God permeate your system and your cells. Know that love is here for you and love is for all. And so it is. Take a deep breath. Grounding yourself into the mother. And when you're ready, wiggle your fingers and toes and open your eyes. Wow. That was, yeah. I didn't expect that. We should have known when they gave us the title. Yes. <laughs> It'll be something like that. Wow. Yeah. Pretty cool. Wow, I'm, just, I'm feeling the peace, big time peace. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody's doing I'm like giggly here in a way where you just feel happy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> let's see, we have 61 comments, 61 shares. Oh, wow. That's amazing. Um, I'm not sure. I can't see. Okay, here we go. We got comments now. The human body doesn't need water because we are water. Um, I love this. So agree with the healing you mentioned a few minutes ago. I truly go within and revisit. Uh, that was beautiful. Thank you. Beautiful, beautiful. So I missed, I can't pull up for whatever reason, the earlier comments because um, we're still live, but right. definitely but we'll thank everybody for tuning in and uh, definitely share this amazing love out if you haven't shared it already. Yeah. Wow. I'll so, definitely do replay later. You know, just, you know, when you're channeling, you say a lot of things that, you know, you kind of don't remember it all. <laughs> yeah. Cool. But yeah. Yeah. No, I think we're in for some amazing times ahead. Like, um, uh, I think October the 14th is a huge, huge day for us. Um, uh, I, I, I personally believe, because it's come to me, that the balance of the hearts awaken on the planet, which um, is like the beginning of even feeling even like more, I think it'll be more, we will feel more bliss and love like than we have before, but more continuously, like, like in a lot of situations over the past year or two, like there'll be spells of this beautiful bliss energy that comes in. You're like, Oh, I love this energy where, Oh, this feels so great. But I think it'll be more like continuous uh, and leading up to the shift. But um, I was also channeled doesn't happen right away. Like, cause this is, there's still like um, a little bit of work that the collective needs to do on their hearts and uh, to open it up enough to receive the blast that's coming yeah. in. So it's like, yeah. So it's going to be like, uh, yeah, I keep feeling like October is going to be a big month of awakening and people um, really coming into who they truly are and figuring things out and, you know, and all of us that's been going through healing and um, all that, I feel like uh, we're coming to a, we're coming to a, a healing pattern to where we're not, we're not going to be doing so much um, purification work because that's what Yashua says to call it. He's, he doesn't like shadow work. He calls it purification work. So, 
So yeah. definitely that's what we're doing. We're going through purification, but but the purification is going to be so much easier. I mean, that'll be the normal. Mm -hmm. The other energy, you know, the sadness and the upset, that'll be like, what is that? Where's that coming from? You know, instead of feeling the bliss and stopping and going, oh, I don't want this to stop. It'll be the way it is. It is that way. Unless you choose to disconnect and then you have to learn. Yourself like, well, like, it'll be like Mount Shasta, but all the time, right? Isn't that a beautiful place? Oh, oh my God. The energy there is just so amazing. And the water. Oh my gosh. Yeah. It's amazing. You have to have, have done, done a certain level of, of work to feel it. But those who have done level work are just in pure bliss from like before they get there until they leave. It's just the most amazing energy. But there's people that live in that city that are walking around totally unaware of how amazing energetically it is. Right. Well, what I found it was really when we were there, like we would ask for something and somebody would show up to tell us how to do it or where to go. We'd be just talking amongst each other. And then somebody would show up because we were just like, where do you go to get the fountain when we first got there to get mm -hmm. the water? And then someone walked up to us and goes, oh, dear, are you looking for the water? And it's over here, a couple, you know, and we're like, that was weird. Oh, it was a coincidence. But no, it happened the whole time we were there. We yeah. couldn't talk about anything without somebody solving the problem. <laughs> Did you notice like a ridiculous amount of little blue lights everywhere, like little blue energies? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. and when in the in the hotel room when we went to sleep at night blue and green like infusion energy like usually yeah. you see it in here but it was it was then you were seeing in the physical yeah, yeah it's so special cool. that place is special yeah some yeah. you gotta visit it sometime if you haven't been there it's amazing mm -hmm. i want to go back but yeah, yeah. Yeah. Me too. i want to go the back the world's gonna be like that just think oh about so good i'm so oh. excited for it yeah you know for you know just walk out of your house and it to be that way it'd be so amazing it's going to be that way we just have to oh, it's just so incredible when you think about it mm -hmm. i mean just feeling that good all the time and then like um when uh when that shift does happen like there's there's definitely a lot of help for everybody too with our galactic friends and everything um but yeah. you know we nobody really knows when that's going to happen and the, and the best thing that we can do is keep supporting all the projects of light and keep doing what your dream is and keep being the vibration of love to yourself and to uh and to your reality and to the ones that are that are in your reality like your family and friends and so that you can um because it, it's all going to help with getting that collective heart to that point where we can shift reality I think the hardest thing is to watch your family members struggle with lack and things that you know that could be fixed with the love of God and and for them not to see it, you know. And so um, you have to stay out of that. Right? You don't want to go in that vibration with them. You have to keep sending love to it like they were telling us earlier. You just have to keep yeah. telling them they're going to be okay. Things are going to work out and keep sending them love because um they can't see it but i can see it i know that they're going to be okay um yeah. but um and have that faith that it will be okay and so that's what we're going to have to you know have be able to be in both places you know it's like yashua he can bilocate and be in a million places at once and you know he's a guide to everyone everyone on the planet could you imagine <laughs> Can you yeah. imagine being that ascended master where his consciousness is is there for anyone who asks for it? Yeah, That's well, amazing. like he's uh I think what I've seen is he's he, he he's he's fragmented himself to to be so that he can literally be everywhere. Like it's just it's um but yet he's aware of all that he is. It's just it's incredible. It really well it's is. kinda if you if you think about it, it's like our our fragments that happened in different lifetimes across the records he's doing that all at once and he's aware like we're aware of this lifetime because we're in it but all the other lifetimes there's awareness there but there's no connection he knows how to connect them all i mean that's just uh he's always wow. been for me like the best of the best they're, they're, i like there's you know there's there's no words to describe how amazing yeshua is like 
from everything that I've ever channeled, every being that I've channeled, every deity, every light, he's he's literally there's not one there's no deity um there's no other being that i've ever channeled that has been more helpful to my heart my light than than he has like he's just absolutely absolutely incredible this is mm-hmm. unbeautiful yeah now, there's, there's really, no, there's really there's, no words to explain him yeah. because he's just phenomenal you know, but that's not even, that ain't good enough either. (laughs) But yeah, yeah, same here. I mean, there's been so many times that, you know, you just think that there's no way out and he puts his hand out and he shows you the way out every single time. You have to trust, you have to trust. He's going to help you find a way out. You know, even in the times right now when we're we're finishing up our our purification, you have to trust he's he's guiding you through it. You're going to get it done, you know we're going to have it done in time for the, you know, whatever happens in the future, you know? So that's yeah. amazing. Part. It's, it's just so amazing. And when, in the beginning too, like when I, all of a sudden this illness was coming to me, he's just, he's just going to have to endure it. It's going to be fine though. You'll get through it. Don't worry. And it's exactly what I was having to do. I was having to endure this thing. And, um, but it gave me so many blessings of working on my health, learning how to manage vibrations and shifting out negative energies out of my fields and like all these different things that uh, have just been so beneficial. And then a whole other gratitude for walking on every, like walking on this planet is a blessing. Time is a blessing. And so like everybody's always, you know, talking about like, why do these sons come to me? Why do they have a better life? And you're focusing on all the wrong things when you could be focusing on how can I make my moments better how can i make my relationships better why am i fighting with everything in my life why instead of it being that though like like what can i do so i can remove you know things that are toxic in my life and and start walking in, in and enjoying it like how do i stabilize certain things how do i like you know, unfortunately, sometimes like we got to get jobs or we got to do other things and, and become stable. And even that is self-love. Stability is self-love. And until we're at the moment where like things like GPMS or um, we're living in just abundant reality, we have to do the things to survive. Um, and if we're not surviving, we're not stable. And like, if we're struggling, it's not stable. So it's, it's definitely the doing the things that are going to make yourself enjoy this life um, and appreciate because every moment is a gift because, you know, there's like either right now around this planet, there is more ascended masters than there has ever been by about 10 times. Um, There is celestial universities that are watching us. Like we're the most coolest TV show um <laughs> yeah. across the galaxies and 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 here we are, many of us are and and the and struggles are real but we're we're losing these opportunities to turn the struggles into benefits you know to blessings and of course if there are things that are like the ending of life and really critical things it was going to be harder and um but there's still so much beauty to enjoy and nobody is guaranteed any more life than the person who was who has been diagnosed with something terminal you 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 very well might go and yeah. hit a car uh before that 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 you both have opportunities to enjoy more of that beauty right and more exactly more. every breath is a gift is what yasha was saying every breath is a gift but also we um we 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 look at life like you know we just sometimes the days get away from us there's a lot of things you could be doing to get out there and be you know out in nature and and meeting with other people and stuff and and we let our sadness you know we stay in the house and don't want to be around people and we let that take over and it's what you're focusing on if you focus on if it comes into you that you feel kind of sad or off that day well, I'm not going to feel that way today. I'm going to go get in nature. I'm going to, I'm going to do whatever it takes to vibe up because I'm not going to stay here. 
I, you know, we have to have an aversion to lower energy instead of wallowing in it like we do. <laughs> Sometimes, yeah. you know, you need a day off to where you just need to be by yourself and heal and stuff like that or rest. But yeah. most of the time, yeah. you can you you have you have the power to raise your vibration and look and change what you're focusing on to bring in a better um, frequency. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, That's there's all these timelines, right? Like, there's like I I have an infinite amount. Bonnie has an infinite amount. You have an infinite amount, and just a couple of different choices will bring in a different timeline. Uh, and every positive choice that you're making um, is going to bring in a, a better timeline, right? And the more positive choices, all of a sudden you just start magnetizing all these positive timelines uh, and life just keeps getting better and better and you just keep bringing it the next thing you know, you've got this dream job, this dream uh, love in your life, this dream um reality you know like all of these different things and and this is like why working on our vibration and and our joy is so important yeah life just becomes easy you're supposed to flow through life not struggle and try and try to grab onto the tree branch and you know try to not get in this you know you're just supposed to float down the river with ease and and not struggle you know not be afraid of what's ahead you but know, let's be struggle. realistic like like we are shifting the consciousness and our awareness of how reality is truly made up. And so you might still be at a level of struggling at the moment. And, uh, but it is definitely like Bonnie saying to place your awareness onto the positivity and start drawing in the positivity um, because that's going to start pulling in these better timelines. So the, um, if there's any unhappiness in your heart, then there is opportunities to bring in more love and positivity uh, and, and commitment to change, to bring in the higher timelines, to improve the reality, you know, and that's, that's just one step. There's the vibrational work is, is the, like the key of the kingdoms, like where you just shift out of all of this struggling and all of this challenges and like it's not like me and bonnie don't struggle with life and things yeah, coming to do. us you know we just have we have more tools we have tools to work with it and we know the importance to get back into that love frequency and into the center of our heart because this is what feels like home and this is yeah. definitely the destiny of love is shifting back into our hearts because it's like heaven on earth reality exactly um, and, and the more, and, and it's, it's, it's more simple than you think to jump timelines because it's all about vibration and making positive choices and focusing on the positive and the, the negative timelines just dissolve away as you do that, because it's the most powerful thing. Again, bringing it back to that love energy, positive is love, positive thinking, positive, um, action and, and being positive towards others, that's all the love energy. And so it, it just dissolves all of that stuff, that upset that could be within your life. And so you're just drawing, it's like a magnet, you're drawing more and more um, positive light and, and the timelines just raise. Sometimes they'll jump so fast because you're, you're, if you're really on it, you'll, you'll start noticing like people are different. They talk to you different or they're not the same, that they're not the same person. Mm -hmm they've been through different, cause you're in a different timeline. And so either they're either more evolved or they're not as evolved, evolved as they were. I mean, it's kind of weird because it's a higher positive timeline. Um, you have to um, sort of relearn the people around you because they're doing the same thing you're doing. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's, really, it's really amazing because every day is a, a learning experience. I mean, yeah. nobody knows everything. There's, it's not possible. <laughs> you know? No, and then we're just, we're just, we're channeling right now, basically. Like, so there's everybody who's watching or who's going to watch this needs to hear a lot of this stuff, mm -hmm. um, or we wouldn't even be talking about it. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, before we go, though, Bonnie, um, are you are you still doing Reiki um, attunements and offering Reiki training, or are you doing one to ones, or what? What are you up to these days for your um, I, I, I still teach from, you know, all the Reiki classes, one, two, advanced and master. 
Um, and I can do them online if you're not local because I'm in Battle Creek, Michigan. And I also do um, Akashic Record Reads, a quantum healing therapy. And so that helps you go within and find where you, whatever in your lifetime that you're repeating over and over again, if you can't seem to break that, we go where the, the seed was planted and we heal that seed and everybody involved in it. And that releases it from all timelines. It's like the roots of a tree, it releases it from all timelines. And so that's the work I do with that too. So people are interested in that, also do that. Um, and can they just like, if they were interested in either a session with you or um, or Reiki uh, training, would they be allowed to PM you on Messenger if it's strictly related to that? Or how would you rather them get um, in touch with you? They, um, over on Ignite Quantum Healing uh, it, on Facebook, there's um, there's either my phone number or you can message me there. Can you put the link in the comments maybe for people so they can? Sure, uh, I can do that. Yeah, that would be great. Yeah. So what are you up to, David? Well, I, I, I have the Unlimited Source Bean um, out and everything. And one of the coolest things that's coming up the pipe um, is this quiz we have coming out called Test Your Vibration that you're going to be able to, um, and it's based on the um, Hawkins Scale of Consciousness um, which is the lowest levels of shame and guilt and the highest of enlightenment. And when you answer 11 questions that have 17 possible choices, so there's a lot of choices, and you're honest with it, it's going to come back and give you where you are at, like consciously and vibrationally. And um, so it's going to be pretty neat to, to find out where you're at. And then when it's a free report that will come with everybody, they'll be able to see. And then uh, if people are wanting to work on their vibration, of course, there's going to be different courses that we can recommend to them that we can help them. But this takes a lot of guessing out of the unlimited source being and what course should they take. Um, so it's going to be, it will be very much um, nice. Really they cool. Just yeah. get the, their, where they're at and then they can decide if they want to do any work on their vibration and there'll be options for them within our course framework. So how do they get a hold of you to if they want to do, take that test and uh, um, check out the course? Pretty soon, I would say within like, likely within about three weeks or so, it's going to be on, on unlimitedsourcebean.com. And um, definitely it would just refer them to go to unlimitedsourcebean.com. And then I'll put, I can put that in the comments as well so that it's it's there. And, but I mean, I, I've worked with Bonnie before. I, she's she's trained me in Reiki as well, and her her training is amazing. Um, it's not just Reiki; it's very intuitive, um, and um, also her Akashic work is top notch. Uh, so, like to experience a one on one session with you, Bonnie, it's always been very groundbreaking for me. I know I love wow. her you, so definitely have my endorsements. That's for oh, sure. Right. Clearly, I mean, like all these yeah. years later, we're still friends, and I, mean, I just love your energy. I love working with you. I love coming on, doing the lives with you. Like the, there's no question that you can feel the love vibrations and everything. Like from what you're channeling, your heart's pure. Your connection is very high, and so wow. I know everybody here can feel that that's watching. So you're saying that everything that I feel about you, David, the same thing. I have a lot of respect for you, and I know that. Um, you're, you've helped so many people and you're, you, you've just begun. I know that there's going to be millions and billions of people that you're going to help with everything that you're doing. And, um, it's been, it's been a pleasure that, to be friends and, uh, to work together. And I know there's a lot more to do in the future, you know, so it's going to be really exciting. And I definitely recommend David and all his classes. They're really amazing. Um, if you want to change your life, and really work on your vibration, definitely go check out David's classes because they're really cool. Well, then I'm going to have to one up you even more. <laughs> Bonnie is so amazing. Okay. Yeshua told me. And it's like that doesn't get any higher. A Yeshua endorsement. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, so oh great. my gosh. It's so funny. But that's what it's all about, though, is to feel in that. Um, Feel that love to, towards everyone you know everybody's going to be that way and i'm really excited for the future and um everybody being healed and being able to be honest about who they are and what they feel about others you know yeah you know, it's not easy to express how you feel about people right to their face you know 
it's pretty cool (laughs) exactly and like we like a million blessings to everybody who's going through a difficult time uh and we hope that that you find some inspiration in this live and we hope that you um connect to the love in this live and to yourself and some positive um miracles come in to help you out so that the doors of light open and and peace comes into you feel that peace within your heart so namaste to everyone and it was really nice today thank you so much um so i think we'll say goodbye to everybody and thanks for tuning in yeah okay till next time till next time i I gotta do it power to the heart let there be light yeah (laughs) okay all right. Um, so you're still recording, but we're we're not. Here, let me stop mine. <laughs>